Hey everyone, it's me, QP83. And Barbie0913. And we have a brand new toy to review for you today. This is Saddle Stars by Blip Toys. It was sent for a review. Um, I met with Blip Toys at Blogger Bash and they were kind enough to send one of these my way. So we wanted to show you the box first because it is, it's so cool. It is a presentation box. I mean, this is really like something you'd see at American Girl, a big fancy box. Yeah, and the graphics are super awesome. Um, it's just a really pretty picture of the horse. And then on the back, we have some more uh, really adorable graphics. We have a little bio about what makes this horse line different from other horse lines. Um, and then we have pictures of what comes with Sky, part of the Saddle Stars line. Very so, cool. So we're gonna open it up and then take the pieces out. But I mean, it's just should we open up yeah. the flap? It's a presentation box. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of work went into this. Mm -hmm. It's such a big box too. So it's definitely gonna make an impact on store shelves. Um, even like this is a really nice insert. The window is fantastic. So and I just love the art on the box. The mm -hmm. art is just so artfully done, for lack of a better word. Very pretty, very beautiful. This is Sky, who is part of the Saddle Star series. She is unboxed. I will say unboxing took a little bit of time. Just half point off for that. <laughs> Be patient. Mostly it was the hair. They were trying to un get the hair out without cutting the, the beautiful mane that right. this horse has. It has a lot of little plastic clips that keep it closed so that it's, there's plastic on it and the clips are holding everything. So you have to undo all those little plastic clips. So that was a little bit difficult and on the main too. Speaking of the box though, one of the nice things about this is it's not just a line about horses. Uh, each horse has its own personality. And on the box, you can actually read a bio about that particular horse. Um, right now, as of this review, there's only one horse out and then there's another horse in production. But this box is a bio for Skye. Um, her About Me reads, She lives in Tucson, Arizona. Her birthday is November 9th, 2008. Her favorite food is sage salad. Her hobbies are stargazing, mm -hmm. painting, and hiking. And her quote, don't call it a dream, call it a plan. I love it that That's she has awesome. a bio. I mean, the thing is, now nowadays, um, kids are not playing with dolls farther into the when, as they get older. So I think this is really kind of neat for an older kid who doesn't want to give up your dolls, but you still want something that has a bio and you can mm -hmm. say she's got her own personality. Yeah. You know, it's one way it, to keep kids collecting mm -hmm. something. And it gives her a personality. She also has a journal entry, so you can dive deeper into Sky and her interests. She's creative, free-spirited, and affectionate. Um, her journal, I'm always looking for a new adventure. It could be a new hideout hidden in the desert, a blank page to fill in my journal, or just a long gallop with the hot Arizona wind in my hair. My friends joke, I'm secretly a wild horse since you'll never know where I'm headed next. And it's true, I love nature. But of course, they know I'm the most loyal friend a horse could ask for. Hanging out with my saddle star besties is one of the best ways to cook up new ideas and expand my creativity. Besides exploring, I'm always looking for new ways to stretch my creativity. Painting and journaling are my favorites and I love trying new things. This year I learned how to use a telescope so I can study the stars. It's amazing. So what do you think? Want to go exploring? That's awesome. I like mean, she's a whole personality. It's a journal on her journal and she's going to have besties and we want her to have besties. Yes. So go buy the horse so we have more besties to play with. <laughs> Uh, so clearly we both uh, are quite enjoying this line. So let's talk about the horse in a little more detail here. She is plastic. She is, is like a hollow body like most horse toys out there. Um, she doesn't have joints. No joints. She's easy to carry around. She's mm -hmm. light. Very long hair. So her tail is very long. Her mane is very long. And you could braid it. You could style it. You can do whatever you want to it. She comes with a saddle bag, which is really cute. It hooks on to little, two little notches there. It's adorable. It it's it's like a um, Mycene purse 
quality in mm -hmm. the beginning, so it's really cool. And this is not just plastic molded suede, it's like actual like faux suede that they braided. <laughs> Which is awesome because most people would just make that molded plastic. She has a blanket <laughs> here. The stirrups are down here. It's just really cool. Her eyes are dark. She's got dark black eyes. I really like how they did her face. I think her face is really pretty. Like it gives her, it adds to her personality. I think she just has a really pretty color scheme going on. It's just so cute. She's just such a pretty face. And this detail here with the flower on her, uh, what is it, bridal? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice Like that. I love that little detail. It's, it's on her, so stirrups cute. And her stirrups and her bridal and everything. Good. We've got more leather over here on this side, holding mm -hmm. this part on. Uh, she comes with barrettes, little rosette barrettes. You get four of those. She comes with one on her mane already. And this one just doesn't have a flower on it. And then you can go braid her hair or decorate her, yeah. get her ready for show. Um, she comes with changeable um, horseshoes. horseshoes. So if we, we were to take that. a horseshoe here, Hello. we're going, there's um, molded horseshoe marks there. We just put it in like so. And then we can do how oh, cute. Because we want to show variety. And then we'll have to put them on the back so she's not uneven. Well, she needs to have them on all four. Let's see. That one is giving me trouble there. So we're just going to stick that there. And we'll put this one in here. What are these made of? It's like a pliable plastic. Yeah, it, it, is, it does mold a little bit. Yeah. So let's see if she can stand with them. They look really cute. Aww. And she can still stand with them. And it's oh, like adorable. totally adorable. It's adorbs. <laughs> so you get two, two different colors, a whole set of horseshoes. So you get four uh, of each color. Um, you also, as we said, you get the saddle. You get the saddle blanket, which is under the saddle in the box. You get the saddle bag. Um, and you get this bracelet for the child or the adult human who is playing with it. Um, it is actually, well, my wrist is pretty much child size, so it, it fits me well. You do have to tie it, but it would look something like this. It's cute. It's a cute little accessory. Yeah, so you can just tie it on there. It's just a faux leather sort of material. Um, but you also get a comb as well that's packaged there. Both of us, like I was combing her mane and I was like, this is like combing funny mm -hmm. and <laughs> her tail. And then like, she mentioned the same thing. Just, it didn't feel like it was <laughs> combing it. Just thought it was like it was gliding on top. And I <laughs> thought that there was something wrong with what I was doing. No, but that was exactly what I felt. So you like, to use this comb, you really have to go and like put the hair in the, the comb part before going Can't down. figure out why. I think it's the size of it because if know. this is as tall, a Barbie comb is as tall, and it, this I can go through and it brushes right through, this one just glides on the top. So it must be something so with the weird. shape of it. So maybe if you, whoops, ah! if you hold it, you can do a better job on it with that comb. Yeah, so I just thought it was interesting that both of us felt it was a little off. There was, <laughs> it's still sliding. It's, it, it's kind of weird. It's like slides. What we thought we'd show you is what else can you use when you collect a horse? Right, because for the most of, most part, unless you just want the horses, you're going to want to see, you're going to want to sit a doll or something on here. So we thought we'd show you what may fit on this particular doll. So you want me to just grab anything sure. and grab her? So we have the Shiba Juku girl. Let's see. This is what she kind of looks like standing by, uh, by Sky here, and so we're gonna sit her up on the horse. The shape, yeah. And I'm doing this backwards, so I can't see where her rein is. Here it is. There she goes. She has it in her hand. I need her to sit. I'd say a little bit too big for her. Okay. Pip's been wanting a horse because Reagan has a horse. And I knew that this horse is going to fit her perfectly. Oh, it looks so cute. Mm. It really does. Like, the stirrups are only a little bit lower than her actual feet. I think it's because she sits well, too, though. Yeah. So, the, I mean, for pictures, it'd be fun to have a horse. Oh, yeah, for sure. Plus, the cloak helps. It's to it, it I know. always looks good yeah, on the horse. horse. <laughs> it looks perfect on the horse. Uh, if you were doing... Let's see your girl here. So, we have her. She's like a USD 
uh, size like 26 inches or so, or 26 centimeters or so. So we have it there. Let's hold the sit on the rein there. Oh, and if you put Pip next to the horse, that's what she would be. And even my Yo SD girl, she sits really well on and there, she does. and it looks adorable. She does. So this is a good size for like the one six, six scale BJDs if you have one of those. The go. Makey was a little more awkward on it just because of how the Makey's body is made, because like they can't spread their legs and, and arms as much as some of these other girls. But if you had a different outfit on her, it might yeah. a longer so, outfit, it might look good. The Makey does work for the most part. She's a little smaller than the scale for this horse, but it is a nice size horse in general. A jointed Barbie. Yes, she's wearing a little short skirt, so that does not really help. Um, so you see that, I don't know. I think this horse looks really big compared to her. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it really fits, if it's this particular Barbie that it doesn't fit or what. And then my scene is pretty much the same size and height. And she's wearing roller skates. Yes, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't complain. But that's how she would be on there. And she's got the really loose kind of jointing mm -hmm. because she's a roller skating one. But it doesn't look too bad on her. No, not at all. If you have someone that's not in a tight fitting outfit yeah. or a restrictive outfit and it's Barbie size, it should fit fine on this. But it, for the scale wise, it works better with the tinier BJDs. Yeah, so if you are a ball jointed doll fan, get a horse for oh, your yeah, doll. For because, sure. Or if you want your child to keep collecting after they put away their dolls. I mean, this is really a nice collection. Oh, yeah. I hope there are more and more that come out. Yeah, I love it. I just think, as far as pros, like, she has the prettiest face on any horse uh, horse toy that I've seen ever. I love the coloring on her. I think the colors they chose for her saddle and all the accessories are just totally spot on. And, like, speaking of her accessories, I love that they use different mediums. It's not just all plastic. I, I think I kind of like some eyelashes, just because horses usually have eyelashes. Really prominent yeah, lashes. Yeah, yeah. I think I I'd like that. that. I mean, this is really a solid black. I don't know. I wish I knew what the other horses look like, too. But yeah, I really love this. This is great. Yeah, nice nice hair, nice stylable hair. I love the horseshoe thing where you can change up the horseshoes. The hair accessories are cute. The bracelet's nice. This is just a really nice item to either play with or just keep on a shelf and have people say, oh, that's such a pretty horse. Where did you get it? It is for <laughs> ages five and up. Um, don't let children under three play because of small parts. Probably the horseshoes. Probably. One thing I would like to see in the future is some articulation, just so she can bend her knees. But this is the beginning of the line. Right, so right. Maybe um, we'll yeah. see that later. And maybe they'll do a more deluxe model, and that would have joints. <sighs> Yeah, that would be really nice. I mean, I, I looked through um, the company's catalog, and this is the first thing that struck me. Like, wow, mm -hmm. we have to talk about this one and find yeah, a horse. For sure. It's just so pretty, and you guys should definitely check them out. Uh, they're sold at Target exclusively. Uh, you can find them online. Their website is linked in the description area. You can also find them on Facebook, so definitely give them a like, um, because the more people that like them and purchase them then the more adorable horses we will get to um to add to our collections or even share on this channel yeah so is there anything else that we missed no i think uh it's nice to be able to take photos of your dolls especially when you collect them so the more things that you can use with your dolls the better yeah so let us know what you think of this horse in the comment area um i will like i said put a link to all the the uh, websites and where you can buy them down in the description area and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this huge thank you to Blip Toys for sending a sample my way because um, she's a totally adorable horse and I love it and I'm not the type of person that gets like overly excited about oh, horse horses. toys <laughs> like real horses totally. we have a farm and fleet near us we know what kind of toys there are yeah this one is actually really really pretty artistically done it's, it's the whole presentation everything. you've yeah. got the diary, you've got the, the bio, the, the box. presentation box. <laughs> I mean, it is really a nice gift to give somebody yeah. and say, oh, wow, I really love this. Look yeah. at the beautiful picture of the horse on it. It makes an impact. Yeah. I think they did a really good job of making an impact. So 
hopefully this line does well and succeeds because I would very much like that. And you would too. I would. So I guess uh, leave your comments down in the comment area and we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.